Okay, today we're going to be making a three stem bud base using three carnations, a stem of wax flower, and a piece of leather leaf. Um, this is the bed base you're going to be using. It has a pretty big opening up top to fit all the material into. When you go to fill it up with water, because your flowers need water, you're going to fill it up to where the water stops at the neck of the vase. This is considered the neck of the vase. This is a very easy design to make. It doesn't take very long. Um, so let's get started. First, you're gonna take your piece of leather leaf and you are going, this is going to be kind of the background for your carnations. You don't want it to be like too tall. You want it to where kind of the bottom ones sit right at the edge of the vase. You never want any greenery to go inside of the vase. You always want to keep it above the rim of the vase. This will help provide some structure for your carnations because if you just put them in there, they're going to wiggle around like this is right now. So here we have our piece of leather leaf. First, we're going to take our carnations. Uh, I recommend finding the straightest one to create the tallest flower. So you can see how this one has a natural bend to the stem. I'm going to save that one for last. This one right here is my straightest one. So to establish the height of our arrangement, we're gonna use one and, one and a half the height of the vase. The easiest thing to do is kind of pull it towards the edge of the table, put the top of the flower where the vase is, mark where the bottom of the vase is, put that marking to the rim, and then mark half. So one and a half, that's our rule for proportion. And then you're just gonna place it in with the um, leather leaf. You notice that this leather leaf is now too tall for arrangement, so you can always take and trim off some more. It shouldn't be in, um, incredibly taller than the carnation, it should be about the same height. Okay, so perfect. You can have a little piece hanging out. And now we're going to create a zigzag in a downward motion with our carnations. When you decide where to cut the second one, you want this flower head kind of right at the bottom of this flower head. So this is flower one, flower two. So the top of this flower should be just under the head of this flower. So here's two, and then three is going to be your shortest one. Mine's really close. You can always hold the carnation and force it open just a little bit. It will open eventually after being out of the cooler for a while. Do the same thing. So now carnation three, the head of this flower should be just under the head of carnation two. And the great thing about these bud bases is that you're not using foam. So it's really easy if you don't like something where you place it, you can just take it out and replace it. So you should essentially have like a little zigzag. So one, two, three, make sure it's all the way through. Your lever leaf gives it some backing so it's not see-through. I actually really wanna cut this one just a little bit shorter. So you can just take it right out, trim a little off. You really want to see the three different levels. That's that's the whole point. One, two, three. I can see them a lot better now. Next, you're going to take some um, wax flower, and you want to make sure you use it throughout the whole vase. So I always start by cutting a tall piece to go up top first. And you notice as you start to put in the material to your bud vase, the water is going to rise. And that's why we don't fill it all the way up yet because it will get, it will overflow. So cut off some of these extra stems. Using the main stem to create the height is probably gonna be your best option. Um, you start here, you want a piece, you do want a piece way up here. So I'm going to do a zigzag back through the other way so that there's some um, wax flower throughout the entire design. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna take my next longest piece that I kind of cut here, take off some of the stray leaves and place it over here. I actually really like it this way. It's not over full. It's not, if you would like to, you can go ahead and take one more piece and place it down here. Um, I really like it just the way it looks. I do have some Galix leaves that I'm going to add. These are optional. I like them because they help hide some of the rim in the container. So um, I'm gonna grab those real quick. And then you can always add a bow to your vase if you would like. That's totally optional as well. If you wanna stop here, you can. If not, then um, grab two Galix leaves and I'll show you how to add them. So these are Gaelic sleeves, they're not very big. The main purpose of these could be two things. One, add a little bit of texture, different type of greenery. Also, it helps cover some of the rim of the container and just makes it a little bit fuller. Give it a fresh cut. And you place one on the right. And one on the left. and you are complete. That is it. That is how you make a three stem butt vase. Um, like I said, if you want to grab some ribbon, add a cute little bow to the vase, but ultimately it's that simple.